Javante Davis lets Oscar De La Hoya know, you and Floyd need to fall back. It's me and Ryan Garcia's time to shine. Y'all already had your time. Fall back and let us do our thing. Before we get into this next video, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subbed to the channel. It looks like things are heating up. Now, Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, it's looking like it's getting bigger and bigger every week. It looks like the fans really want this fight. And now, not only the casual fans, the diehard boxing fans really want this fight. And with that being said, we know that Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya, they love the limelight. So Oscar came out and he called out Floyd Mayweather and said that they should have a rematch on the same card with Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia to settle their feud once and for all. And my thing is like, man, you need to sit your old ass down. You know, you had your time, your time is up. Now, Floyd Mayweather, surprisingly, he didn't respond because we all know a fight of this magnitude, Floyd Mayweather, he want to be all up in the camera, all up in the videos, right? He want to make everything about himself. But this time, it's Oscar De La Hoya coming out, trying to put the attention on himself instead of promoting his fighter and calling out, you know, Floyd Mayweather, saying that they should do it on the same card. And yeah, the card would be huge. Don't get me wrong. That might be, you know, like some Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather type stuff. Especially, you know, the gate ticket sales. That would be huge. Um, on the same card as a Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. I don't know if it would be a main event or a co-main event. Whatever it may be. They don't need to take the limelight and the shine off of these two young fighters. Like I said, they've already had their time. They need to sit the hell down somewhere. And Oscar De La Hoya, he's been calling out Floyd Mayweather ever since he lost to Floyd in 2007. It's like Oscar was golden boy. He was the protected fighter. Now, I'm not saying that he was protected like he ducked fighters and all of that, but he was protected from Floyd Mayweather. Bob Arum did not let Floyd Mayweather fight Oscar De La Hoya when Floyd was calling out Oscar all of them years. He kept Floyd from Oscar and he kind of held Floyd down and he built Oscar up because Oscar was his guy. And you know, um, when Floyd finally got a chance to fight Oscar De La Hoya and he beat him, Oscar De La Hoya, he could never live with that. You know, he could live with all the L's that he had on his record. Um, everybody but Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd Mayweather antagonized him. Floyd Mayweather belittled him during the buildup of the fight. He disrespected him. He did everything he could to get in Oscar De La Hoya's head. And then, you know, when it was all said and done, he was the one that was getting his hand raised when Oscar De La Hoya was supposed to be the golden boy. Oscar De La Hoya was the one that was supposed to win that fight. But it didn't go down like that. And Oscar has never been able to get over it. He's like a bitter scorned woman. He's never been able to get over it. It's like that man damn near lost his mind after he lost to Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? He got to doing things with spatulas, wearing stockings and dressing up in women high heel pumps and all of that. You feel me? But that's a whole nother video in itself. But yeah, so now to proposition, you know, a rematch with Floyd Mayweather on the same card with Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis, it would be a smart business move maybe. But nah, you don't want to take the shine off of these young fighters because the whole buildup, everybody's going to be focused on Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Y'all are promoters. Y'all need to fall back, you know, and promote your fighters. And we already know that Javante Davis, he already has called out Floyd on several different occasions for hating on him. He feels that Floyd, you know, at some times don't have the best interest in his heart for Javante Davis. And we seen Javante's last fight with Roley, Floyd was nowhere to be found. Actually, Floyd had his press conference on the same day that Tank had his press conference. And a lot of people felt that Floyd was doing that out of spite. Floyd is doing that, you know, to throw a little jab at Javante Davis. I don't know if he was or not, but he could have had his press conference on a different day. So, you know, Javante Davis, he felt somewhere about that. 
And throughout the years, Tank, he didn't express the problems that he didn't have with Floyd Mayweather. You know, he didn't went on social media and said his things about Floyd Mayweather. And then we've seen Floyd Mayweather take little jabs at Javante Davis throughout the years. And then at times he come back and he act like he loved Floyd. So they got a love-hate relationship. But you know, you y'all know how Floyd is. Floyd wants the limelight and the spotlight on him. And then as for Oscar De La Hoya, we know that Ryan Garcia, he's had his spats with Oscar De La Hoya. You know what I'm saying? He don't like how, how Oscar De La Hoya is holding him back from certain fights and things of that nature. And, you know, underpaying him. And, you know, Ryan Garcia, he's let it be known in the past, too, how he felt about Oscar De La Hoya on certain different occasions. And these are the things that go on with, you know, promoters and fighters at times. We've heard it ever since boxing existed. But we've really never had two promoters in the game that were such great fighters in their times, mega, mega household names, mega worldwide superstars that are promoting against each other. And, and if this fight do happen, which I don't think is going to happen with Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis, if it does happen, that's going to be the whole headline. You know, the whole headline is going to be Floyd Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya promoting against each other. And that's why this fight is even big as it is because of Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya. I got my best fighter against your best fighter. Have them get in the ring and get it on. And y'all need to leave it at that. Leave it at that, Oscar. Get over it. Floyd beat you. Y'all never had a rematch. Y'all never ran it back. But Floyd beat you. And you didn't deserve a rematch because you made Floyd wait years upon years upon years. Bob Arum and everybody else around you protected you from Floyd Mayweather when he was calling you out, you know, throughout the years. He was willing to move up and fight you. And then when y'all did fight, Y'all fought on your terms. You fought at the weight you wanted to fight at. You fought in the ring you wanted to fight in. The gloves, you got the most money and all of that. So you just lost, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you weren't in your prime at the time. You weren't in your prime at the time. You was, you know, getting older, but you was a lot bigger than Floyd. And like I said, you dictated all the terms in that fight. And you still lost. But you know, a lot of these new boxing fans wouldn't even remember that. If you wouldn't always calling out Floyd Mayweather bringing it up. So no, you're not going to fight Floyd on the undercard, right? Or on the same card as Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. It's their time to shine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had y'all time. That's it. That's all. Fall back and promote. You know, Ryan Garcia could be a lot bigger than he is if you promoted him on your social media and promoted him like you were supposed to. But you can't keep the cocaine out of your nose. You got a whole bunch of other issues going on. And we all know that Javante Davis is big, but let's keep it 100. If Floyd promoted Javante Davis like he should, Tank would be huge. I'm talking about Tank would be a household name. Your grandmama would know who Javante Davis is because Floyd got probably 20, 30 something million Instagram followers. He ain't posting Tank on his Instagram all the time. Floyd is posting girl collection and himself and more himself and his cars and all of that. He not posting his fighters. He not promoting his fighters like that. Leonard Ellaby is doing the groundwork. Leonard Ellaby is the one that's promoting Javante Davis. You feel me? So fall back and, and be a promoter. That's what y'all should be doing. Promote your fighters at the highest standard. Promote your fighters to the best that you can promote them. Now, instead of talking about having a fight against Floyd Mayweather, make this fight happen for your fighter. Give Ryan Garcia what he say he want. You feel me? He said he wants to fight, so stop holding him back. Make it happen. Stop making excuses so you don't have to make this fight happen. And yeah, I know you ain't comfortable with putting Ryan Garcia in the ring with Tank Davis. But I guarantee you, if Floyd said, you know what? We can make this rematch between me and you on the undercard or on the same card. Let's make it happen, Oscar. I guarantee you, you wouldn't have no problems making this event happen if Floyd gave you the nod. If Floyd gave you the nod, I guarantee you, you'll break your neck to make this happen. But you don't want to make it happen. 
because you're afraid that if Ryan Garcia loses, and I'm not even saying Ryan Garcia lose. Both of these fighters, they both talented, right? But I'm not saying that he gonna lose and I'm not saying he gonna win. But in your mind, I believe you think that he has a huge possibility of losing and you not willing to take that chance. So, like I said, if it was about you and Floyd, I guarantee that you'll make the fight happen real fast. Get over it. Floyd beat you, Oscar. Fall back and let Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis have a shine if y'all make this fight happen. If. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Would y'all like to see Floyd Mayweather and Oscar, you know what I'm saying, um, on the same card with Tank and Ryan Garcia? Or do y'all think they need to fall back because they already had their time and let the young dudes have their shine? Anyway, y'all already know how I do. Hit my like button. Dang, go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone, y'all. <laughs>